this video, we'll talk about interfacing a Tascam DM series console to a Macintosh computer running Pro Tools. The focus will be to set up the DM as a control surface for Pro Tools software. This is not a difficult process. We'll be using the DM4800 series console. However, settings are the same for the 3200 series. This will not work with any Pro Tools version previous to Pro Tools 9. In this case, we've done the upgrades and we're running Pro Tools 9.5. Firewire is used for transmission of audio between the interface card in the DM console and the Firewire port on the Macintosh. Control is sent via USB from the USB port on the DM console to the USB port on the Macintosh. Even though the paths do not interact, I'd recommend you establish the audio path between devices before you attempt to establish control. Keep in mind, FireWire has nothing to do with control and vice versa. Once the audio path has been established, connect a USB cable between the console and the Macintosh. Now that you have all the connections done, Let's look at the settings we need to make within the DM console. At the DM's Remote External Control screen, add an HUI Emulate device. In addition, add an HUI Emulate device in the Remote Machine Control screen. It's necessary to check the TRA radio button in order to control the transport functions. Now let's look at the setup in Pro Tools itself. From the Setups menu in Pro Tools, select Peripherals. Then click on the MIDI Controllers tab. Select an HUI device for number 1 and number 2. Assign the MIDI Receive and Send to the DM4800's port 4800480018001 and assign port 2 of the DM's port to 4800-4-8002. The number of channels should be 8. It should look like this when you're done. One of the problems I experienced during this process was that at some point, the Pro Tools software corrupted and did not display the Tascam ports as an option. This was resolved by reinstalling Pro Tools. Once that was complete, the options were there to select. Once you have the cabling and settings correct, you'll notice the state indicator will show a bi-directional arrow. If not, there's failure and control will not work. In addition, Pro Tools will report a failure upon boot if it does not detect the DM interface. I found the best boot sequence is to allow your Macintosh to completely boot then boot up the DM console. After that, you can open a Pro Tools session. In my setup, I'm able to run an external Glyph hard drive via USB without any negative effect over control. I found when the Glyph was connected by FireWire, it created some control issues when passing audio and the drive was active. This could have been resolved with a FireWire router, however, I found USB works just fine for backing up to the glyph. Keep in mind, the DM must be in the remote layer mode for bi-directional control. You'll have control over 16 fader channels. If you're using a DM4800, the 16th channel will not necessarily be the master. It may simply be channel 16 on the DM console. Once configured, you'll have control over balance, record select and faders along with some other advanced functions such as locate and edit points. In addition, you'll have automation during playback when auto read is engaged in the Pro Tools mix screen. We hope this video was helpful and makes your setup a little easier. For comments email lsartistic at swbell.net that's lsartistic at swbell.net this has been a Lakeside Artistic Recording Production.